This video and hundreds more like it, available on freephotoshopvideotutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to make it seem like it's snowing in your photos. So, what we need here is obviously, uh, you know, a winter scene, a scenery outside where it seems like, you know, it could be snowing, so there's snow on the ground. And uh, we're going to make it seem like it's snowing, right? So we're going to add a new layer here, fill it in with black, so that's uh, control and backspace, since black is my background at the moment. We're going to go into filter, noise, and add noise. And with that, <clears throat> we want to add an amount of 150% Gaussian and monochromatic. Right, so it looks like that. We're going to go ahead and click OK, then go into Filter, Blur, and just add a bit of blur. So we're going to actually go to Blur More, which just gives a little bit more of a blur than the regular one. And uh, it just doesn't give you any dialog boxes like the Gaussian Blur, so just, just very quickly just Blur More, that's fine. Now we're going to go into Image, Adjustments, and Levels, and this is where we make it seem more like snow as opposed to noise. We're going to bring in our black slider in to reduce the number of snowflakes, right? And you can also bring in your white slider here to make the snowflakes more vibrant. Now this is kind of depends. You probably don't want to move it too much. You don't want really stark points here. So you want to bring it in just a little bit. And then you can control the amount of flakes that are shown by moving the middle slider. So somewhere like that is probably OK. We'll click OK. And now we're just going to add some, uh, some blur to it. So we're going to go into Filter, Blur, and Motion Blur. And we're going to make it seem like the snow is actually falling. So you just want an angle that is somewhere, you know, plausible. So somewhere like from 65% uh, to negative uh, 60% thereabouts. Just pick an angle which you want your, uh, your snowflakes to be falling. And the distance, of course, will control how much of that uh, effect is, is going on. Of course, you don't want to make it seem like it's raining. So uh, you want something like 5 to 10 pixels. Uh, I'm going to go here with, uh, with 7 pixels for this one. Click OK, and uh, we can change our blend mode here to uh, screen, and we can actually see what's going on here. So this is uh, without any, and this is with a bit of the snow there. Now we want to uh, duplicate this layer here, so we're just going to do a uh, Control and J, and we're going to um, transform this here. We're just going to rotate it 180 degrees, right? 180 degrees transformation. Uh, this is just to make it seem like uh, there's a there's a little bit different uh, angle here, and not an angle, but there's a there's a little bit more different snow coming uh, as well. But we're gonna make this instead of just the little snow specks, we're gonna make them into snowflakes, right? So we're gonna go into filter, um, pixelate, and crystallize, and then we're gonna with a cell size of 10, we're gonna be transforming that into these snowflakes, right? So there we have our flakes, but we also want our flakes to be in motion. So we're going to go into Filter, uh, Blur, and Motion Blur. And with this, since they're bigger flakes, we want to add a little bit more here on the distance. So instead of 7, you probably want to go with something like 14, or something double than what you selected probably. And make sure that the angle is the same, so it makes sense. And there we are. So what we're going to do here is just merge these two layers. So I'm going to select these two and go Merge Layers. We're going to, of course, so here you can see the actual snow that's being applied. We're going to transform this into screen again. And now you see why we uh, we merged them. is because we're going to just duplicate this again. So we're just going to have another set of that combined. So just the Control and J. And all that did is just made our snow more vibrant. right? So you can see more of the snow. Now, of course, if you're satisfied with this, then that's great. Um, if you want to make it a little bit more subtle, then you can do on the second layer here. You can change the opacity. Uh, to a point where you think it's uh, bringing enough of the snow. So I'm going to go here with something like 60%. And here you can see the uh, before, no snow, and after. So it's snowing. There you are. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.